Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at the Jagdpanzer E100 but not as a review, we're just going to look at its new wardrobe. That's right, the good old tier 10 German TD, the Jaeger Roo, has now got a legendary camo and judging by how much this stuff is going to cost you, the camo has been designed by Hugo Boss who did German uniforms in World War II by the way and the fashion accessories that go around the side and hang off the turret type thing have clearly been done by Louis Vuitton because boy this stuff is gonna set you back thing is I absolutely love legendary cameras I really do and I love of the color scheme of this one okay it looks a little bit dull gray with a dark gray and some dots but it's pretty much like what the Germans were doing at the end of World War II with their big lumbering tanks they were painting them in a two-tone with a what we call a spatter pattern which is these dots and I think it looks pretty pretty funky in fact I really like it not only that it's got a massive bear on the one side and a big number on the other side and it's saying mighty tiger bear if of course my german is correct does any of this actually improve the tank well of course it doesn't it just makes it look really really funky now here's the thing the camo is going to cost you three thousand gold which in the grand scheme of things is actually quite expensive i mean most camos cost about two so 3,000, well, uh, that is pretty expensive. But here's the kicker. The actual attachment, that's right, the fashion accessories, which is the walkway around the uh, tank with a few bags and bits hanging off it, is going to cost you 5,000 gold. What? Did you hear you ask? That's right, your ears are not deceiving you. 5,000 gold. So let me just put that into perspective for you. In the store is the T-54 first prototype, fully equipped, etc, etc. It comes with a garage slot, it's got legendary camo, and it's got an epic avatar. And that's going to cost you 6,500 gold. So you will be able to get a tank 1,500 gold more expensive than the actual attachment for this thing. If you want the camo and the attachment for the Jaegeru, that's going to cost you a whopping... 8,000 gold. Now look, attachments for tier 10s have never been cheap. I remember when the attachment came out for, I think it was the Badger, the tea time attachment, or, or the FV4005, um, and that was expensive, it was like 4,000 gold. And you can get attachments for most of the tier 10s, like the IS-7, the IS-4, the E-4, the E-3, etc, etc. And they cost roughly about 4,000 gold. But this one's going to cost you five. That's an extra 1,000 gold than what most of them cost. Then you've got the camo. Now the camo costs three. Now most camos, as I said, especially the legendary camos, are costing you two. So Wargaming being a little bit greedy here, by upping the price a little bit. Is this what we're gonna see? I mean, it's not a little bit, it's quite a substantial price increase, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, a thousand additional for the camo and a thousand additional for the attachment is by no means a small sum of money. And yeah, it does look nice. And yeah, it does make the tank more aesthetically pleasing on the eye, but it doesn't actually do anything. At least the attachment doesn't. Obviously the camo does, because it gives you a camo rating, it is your profile, it gives you an extra 2% or 3% concealment on the map. But it doesn't actually change anything. So you're actually spending 5,000 gold for literally a fashion accessory. And if that's what you want to do, then that's up to you. It makes your tank look cool, I must admit. And um, people on the battlefield will say, wow, he must be either brain dead or loaded because he's got the attachment and the camo. He spent 8,000 gold on bits and bobs that make a tank look nice rather than saving his money and buying an actual tank. Yeah. However, I digress. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore 
legendary camos. I wish every tank in the game got a legendary camo. And, to be perfectly honest with you, I've never actually been overly fussed about the attachments, except the ones that come with the spotlight, because it confuses the enemy when they want to shoot you. But, that being the case, when the camos are like 2,000, and when the attachments are 4,000, you sort of question why. I mean, the camos, I don't mind. I'll spend the 2,000 to get the camos. And I begrudgingly, and I mean begrudgingly, I had to be bullied into getting the IS-4 and the IS-7 attachments because I begrudgingly pay 4,000 for fashion accessories that actually do nothing to change the uh, parameter of the tank. Why would I? I mean, that's just throwing money away as far as I'm concerned. But now we're looking, I'll still spend the 3,000 to get this camo. But 5,000 for the attachment, which is just a walkway and a few bags hanging off the side. Yeah, it's a little bit steep in my book. And I think, you know, Wargaming have just lost the plot just a little bit with that one. So please, Wargaming, for the love of God, bring the price down on the attachments. You know, or, or alternatively, make them do something to the tank. Make it an OP attachment, at least. Justify why I'm spending 5,000 gold. Now I know what you're all thinking. I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, you're spending just under $30 for a camo and a piece of attachment. It's still $30, guys. It's still expensive for something that just purely makes the tank aesthetically pleasing. Anyway, I think the attachment is far too expensive, but I love the camo, I must admit. I've been Fujit. That has been my little rant on the Jaegeru's legendary camo. By all means, comment and everything below. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblit at gmail.com. And I'd like to say a big massive thank you to all my Patreons, YouTube members, and in fact subscribers, because thank you, without you, these videos would be meaningless. Until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.